Spread chaos to the masses. Come on. Flint, Michigan, I'm a stereotype because I kill everything. What's going on, everyone? You already see what's in front of you. I don't have to tell you. You clearly know there's another tour review today. And today, we're going to be reviewing my good friend here, Spike, from the very popular manga and anime series, Cowboy Bebop. Now, right off the back, if you do not have this in your collection of stuff, toy and anime wise or manga wise, you fucking missing out. You really do need to get off your ass and cop this 100%. This is a very, very great figure along with great material that it came from. Um, this toy is actually made by Play Arts Kai, the high-end version of Play Arts uh, by Square Enix. And I must say, off the back, they nailed this toy 100%. Uh, as soon as I seen this toy come out, for pre-order, it was an instant purchase. I ain't have to guess. I ain't have to wonder. The same way how I feel about my Metal Gear figures, that's how I feel about this. I instantly picked them up. So, just to give you a quick backstory, Cowboy Bebop is based upon a bunch of uh, bounty hunters. That's actually broke-ass bounty hunters that's doing whatever they can to get back to the next day. Uh, Spike is accompanied by a few other allies that's on this ship that he flies. Um... Like I said, it's a great, great stuff. Uh, the artwork is actually done by the same dude that did Kill Bill uh, artwork on the first volume. That little cutscene that's all animated. Same artist. Same dude that did Samurai Shampoo as well. Shit, hopefully we can get a Samurai Shampoo uh, Mugen uh, figure. That'd be awesome. But beyond all that, let's jump right into this review. And I'm going to show you off the back how tall is he. Now, I will say, normally... With the Play Arts Kai, most of the time, the Metal Gear figures was the tallest ones. I'm actually pretty surprised that Spike here is actually a fair good size. Like, he's not too short or any of that. Give you a quick height comparison. Here's the Metal Gear figure right off the jump. So, Snake, if I'm not wrong, Snake's supposed to be about 9 inches. So, clearly, Spike is probably... Maybe like eight and a half. So he's a nice fair size. Uh, if you look at them and I had this sitting around so I can use this as well. That's a Revolt Tech figure. She comes literally at his waistline. So, yep, that's the height right there. So moving on. Now, right off the back, I will say I really wish they came with a little bit more accessories than what they came with. But, hey, you can't win it all. It is what it is. Um, he did come with the fist that you see, alright, he comes with two open hands, and I'm going to be honest with you, they're well crafted, like they don't look shitty, they actually look really, really well done, like I'm actually happy with the quality that I got out this hand. So they did a, a very, very good anime feel to it. Sorry if my camera acting ridiculous, there you go, you get that. You get a trigger finger, which is also really well done because it actually holds the gun. I don't fight with it trying to put the weapon in it. Let me see. Give me a second. I'm going to grab a piece of white paper just so that way we can focus better. All right. Sorry about the inconvenience. I'm back. So just to give you an idea... Is, like I said, it's is really well done. Like they did an awesome job on the hand. And then he comes with his pistol as well. And that's also well crafted. It has mainly just a gray and a black. Oh, I'm sorry, a, gray, a silver and a gray. Sorry, it looks dark on my end. But yeah, silver and a gray gun. All right. So beyond that, the paint apps, which I'm going to go ahead and zoom up so you can see. The paint apps on this toy is immaculate. Like, I have nothing to complain about. Like, they really did an amazing job on everything about Spike. Um, the only thing I wish, and it's not even a, a negative comment, it's just something I just wish it was around, was the fact that I wish Spike's facial expression was a little bit more serious instead of so bland. That's the only thing I have to say. Other than that, I have nothing else to say wrong. Uh, what's nice about 
this figure as well. I'm going to do a once over while I'm talking to y'all. What's nice about this figure as well is that they did something different. So Play Arts Kai is going a whole other direction, I think. I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm going to be honest with you, it feels like a new direction, which is also a great direction. Uh, I have nothing bad to say on what they're doing. They're using soft rubber, not soft rubber, I'm sorry, soft PVC on the outfits now where now it doesn't hinder none of the movement like the movement is actually extremely uh open like you don't have nothing stopping you like for example his jacket that you see it's a really really soft pvc and um is it doesn't hinder nothing at all like when i say i can pose him this is by far the best play arts kai figure i know that sounds like i'm saying a lot but I'm being honest, like, out of all the Play Arts Kai figures, they may look more uh, eye-appealing than he do, I mean, my bait, but pretty much he is an anime, so it's not going to be a, a ton of different detail that's on this figure, because he was already kind of a basic style uh, character anyway, with the whole art design. But the thing is, what I mean by him being the best out of all of them, most of the figures, including my great Metal Gear figures that I love so much, they can't do too many poses because it's so much shit that's in the way. And like I said, it's just the design of it. The design of the actual figure, it kind of hinders a lot. Where, okay, like you see that right there, that little slit on his pelvis? They put that in there, which is actually extremely smart. Because by them doing that, when you're doing like side kicks with Spike, he could actually do a full side kick as if he did in a cartoon like the old school Bruce Lee kick, and he can hold that pose. So they're doing a lot, and they're doing a lot different, and it's, it's a great thing. So articulation-wise, which I'm going to go ahead and jump into that for you, and I'll start showing you the last bits of what I think about this figure that makes it so great to me. So articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. You see, he can look up about that far, which is extremely good. He can look about that far down, which is not too much. Uh, as for neck movement, it's extremely hindered because of the collar. So, plus, I'm going to be honest with you, the neck, the neck uh, articulation is really not important because you rarely even use that anyway. I mean, you can still turn a full 360 of his head without his neck even moving. So, honestly, it's kind of pointless that he even can move in the first place, but it is what it is. Now, as for the shoulders... Shoulders is also on the swing out hinge. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all heard me say this before. I don't like the swing out hinge thing because it feels like it's going to break. And this is what I must say that's different about this toy. It feels a lot better. Like, out of the, um, hmm, let's see. Out of the God of War 3 figure, out of the Ninja figure, this is by far the most durable feeling swing out arm. Period. Like, I really, really feel good about this. And if you notice, as I'm swinging this, you see how that PVC is moving? And it also has a slit in it, so it doesn't hinder him from folding his arms or anything of that nature. And that's that. And then, they actually put a bigger piece of plastic in the socket to keep it from being loose. Like, it just flapping around. So, I think that might be the improvement. Maybe I'm tripping, but if I'm not wrong, they wasn't this big before. I have to go back to my other toys and actually look, but I, I swear they're not this big. Uh, beyond that, he has a ball joint, which is also cool. So, he got the full 360, okay? You got that, and then you also can lift his arm that high. Let me zoom out so you can actually see. You can lift his arm pretty high like it's really really nice um you got that going on you have a the little ratchet joint in the elbow which it can be uh swivel at the top of the bicep and also at the um at the at the bottom of the bicep sorry and at the top of the forearm so you got that going on uh you have a hinge on the wrist now the thing about this wrist hinge be careful y'all because when i first got mine it was pretty tough so definitely be careful now what's nice about this it actually has a very very easy removable peg which i'll show you that real quick 
like it doesn't feel like I'm fighting with it. But the only thing is, too, you have to be a lot more careful because the peg is so simple. Is that you probably do the wrong thing and you can definitely damage it. I'm going to let it go ahead and focus in on that pin so you can see how tiny it is. So it is pretty small, so be careful with it. But I haven't had any problems. I've been changing the hands on this quite a bit when I first got them because I was doing poses and different things with them and just taking little pictures and stuff. Pictures and stuff. Um, so I can honestly say this is a well done figure. See, I just easily popped the hand on, didn't have any issues, perfectly done. Now, moving down to the abdomen real quick for you. Now, the abdomen is amazing. So this is where I think they improve the movement completely on the Kai figures. So he can go about that far, leaning right on the abdomen, in which we've seen this done before, not too bad. Now, they did put a slight slit at the top of his jacket. So he actually get a larger range, leaning back, all right? But this is where it gets, like, amazing. So his waist, I'm going to go ahead and lift this up a tad bit, or maybe I'll just lean him forward you can see it. It might be hard to catch on this. You can kind of see the glare. See that little glare that's in there? It's actually, like, on a ballpoint pin, kind of like a dumbbell uh, look. So his bending is nuts. Like, like look at this, like. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, out of all the play arts cop figures I own, they're not doing that type of lean forward. And it is a ratchet joint as well at the waist. Look how far I got them to lean over. Now, granted, this looks crazy, but it doesn't even matter to me because I can do so much with this figure and hide that. Like, this is awesome. Like, I don't care what nobody said. Like, even though it looks weird right now that's because i'm showing you but if i was doing like a side kick or anything of that nature you wouldn't be able to see it no way if i had it behind the camera so i honestly like it a whole lot um now when they come down to the whole pelvis part with them slits i was speaking about this leg is actually on a ratchet joint this is something different i didn't see this um why it's it's definitely done smart now what i was speaking about earlier on my last review, talking about Revolt Text, how shitty the 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 pelvis um, ratchet joint is. So pretty much, they said it where um, you're dealing with a ratchet joint at the pelvis, but it's nowhere near is a hassle or problem as the ratchet joint I'm about to show you right now, which makes this is like 30 times better. So one by him having a ratchet joint. He can actually hold a pose a lot better. But on top of that, so if you look, let me see if I can focus in on that for y'all. All right, so it's like on a ratchet slash swivel, which this eliminates the factor of being hindered, but also giving like a large range of movement. And you notice with the slits I was talking about earlier, look how high his leg can go without him being hindered. Now, he could damn near do the splits. Now, no play arts guy that you can tell me can go that far. That's like, that's nuts. This is amazing. Like, whoever thought of this damn idea, high fives of them motherfuckers, because this is great. Like, so, and then coming down to the knees, remember I was talking about as well, if you haven't seen that, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Oh, actually, before I go to the knees, I'm sorry, is a swivel at the actual uh, base of the pelvis right here. So I can actually swivel his leg and turn it in and out, which is really, really nice. But going to the knees, this is where I said in my uh, Zetman uh, review that Play Arts Kai kind of need to copy off that whole knee design that they did on him. And I'm about to show you, they did this, and I swear I was blown away with the actual quality of uh, not having to deal with a shitty knee joint. Look at that. It's so flushed. Now, even when I bend it, even though it's elongated, it doesn't look like that jig, big old slap of plastic. So it actually looks a lot more neat, in my opinion. Now, certain toys nail it better. Like, for example... Um, Play Arts Kai uh, Ninja, Cyber Ninja from Metal Gear. His knee design is really, really done well. The Solid Snake knee design is really done well. And I think God of War possibly. Can't really remember. 
but like the the original Play Arts cop figures with the knee joint, I'm about to show you real fast with Snake. It's fucking hideous. Like it looks like shit. Like look how chunky that big slab of plastic. And it's like no way of hiding it. Like you just clearly see it's ugly as hell. So this is nice. Um, as for ankle movement, he has a ratchet in the in the ankle, which you can hear it clicking there. And I mean this thing can hold poses for days. He have a swivel in the leg, which is done extremely good. See? Definitely nice amount of range side to side. Sorry about the not focused situation. This camera, I got it on auto. And honestly, it seems like to be more of a pain in the ass than manual focus, but whatever. Um, there's also a swivel in the toe. Has a little slit. So, hands down. Gotta be my next favorite toy next to my Metal Gear figures. Like, I love this toy. Like, this toy was worth every single penny, period. Now, I'm about to show you the balance that they put in this figure, which this is also what blew me away about this actual Play Arts Kai figure, which this was the sale. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up, uh, what's his name, um, Vicious, when I get the opportunity. I haven't bought him just because I had other toys in mind that I liked a little bit more or just wanted a little bit more. But I had to get Spike because, I mean, who wouldn't want to get Spike that's a fan of the show? So I'm going to go ahead and show you. The, the balance and the pose you can hit dealing with this toy. Which y'all probably already seen inside like computers. I mean, um, not computers, but um, computer images rather. Sounded ridiculous. But you can see what I mean. On his own, perfectly balanced can do a high kick and clearly he can do higher than that because we already seen how far the leg span can go so this is what I mean by a great figure y'all so hopefully this review helped y'all out if y'all a fan of Cowboy Bebop go ahead and pick it up you won't be disappointed and second of all thank you for coming through checking out the reviews and hey continue to collect and shits and I definitely will be checking out y'all, seeing what great things y'all have to offer. And please continue to come check out what I have to offer. Y'all have a good one. Take care. I fucking hate them. I had to let them know. M bison fight when I'm right and get on my level, ho. Don't do what I do. I mastered this kid and ride you. How you can sack it and guy you. You pussy Selena Kyle. Now they signs is vital. Why did they even fight them? I just threw my case. Make them wonder why they even took the shit to trial. Connor, Connor, Connor. John Connor. Terminology. Tao. Say uh, I keep it humble, stomachs rumble for that money bundle Slay, send me into the booth, you other cats in trouble I pack heat like a North Face, you all fake I was a troubled youth, hammers in my bubble goose I'm Puerto Rican, so you know I got a lot of blaze pocket nice, many machetes for when I ride the train I try to make it to the big screen, so I spit mean I make thick chicks cream with every 16 The playboy without the bunny rabbit Gotta make it money habit I put packages in my trunk and pack it To the top, then I ship them out Rock, then I'm dipping out Let them lick the cock, then I kick them out I only rock polo and Ride solo, swallowing a no dose, bottle packing a fofo. -fo. I'm in the studio, boobies and Don Julio with Slay and some big booty hoes. We straight stunting on them. Big shout to Armani Gav. Yo, on the track. We're the greatest in bar. It feel good, don't it? What's up, lyrical master? Mad balls in prison, my listeners. I said I got the game like Wayne's head locked up. No luck, roll up. It's something that's older. With a new touch, man, I'm too drunk. Doing strikeouts, more K's than a Ku Klux. Said I'm lights out. Okay, tell that girl.